Many channels here on YouTube, including myself, always say that you need to create content elsewhere to grow on Twitch. And one of the biggest places you can win ground fast is using short form content on TikTok or YouTube. Just look at Lonely Shark, who managed to grow from 2,000 to 50,000 subscribers in less than a month with nothing but short form content. But it is hard to do because streaming, making long form content, and then also making short form content content costs a lot of time. Or does it? What if I told you that you can get similar results as Lonely Shark and publish a good short every day of the month in less than an hour's work? Seriously, 30 shorts in less than an hour just by using your Twitch clips and editing them easy and fast. And what if I told you you can do that for free? My name is Barry Epps and this is Content Delta. How we make 30 shorts and upload them in less than an hour will be later in the video, but we first need to understand what makes a short good. Because if you publish bad shorts, you can never get to the level of skill and growth that Lonely Shark had in 30 days. The goal of any good piece of content is to entertain or inform your viewers. And shorts are no different. And one way to make your shorts into good pieces of content is by making sure you tell a story within the 60 seconds that you have. Any good story consists of three parts. No matter if it's five seconds or five hours, it should follow a simple structure. Setup, content, punchline. The setup is there to hook your viewers in. Set up a challenge or what you're going to do and give them a preview of the punchline. What are your stakes? What happens if you succeed? And what happens if you fail? The content is, well, the content. It is where you do exactly what you set out to do in your setup. This is where a lot of clippable content can be made. The punchline is the kicker, the conclusion, the outcome. It is the moment that makes people want to watch. This should be unexpected, funny, or clever, and should always deliver on what you've set up. For example, a few weeks ago, I did a stream in which I had to complete one of the hardest challenges in Phasmophobia in one one night. And if I didn't, I had to eat three Carolina Reaper jelly beans at the same time. In the end, we made it. But throughout the stream, people were on the edge of their seats because even if I had a period of little activity in the game, people would not leave because they wanted to see if I was going to succeed. After the stream, I went back and made a short in which I set up the challenge, got everything I needed except for one piece of the puzzle in less than five minutes and then the ghost just stopped interacting. It just did nothing for 40 minutes straight. So I time-lapsed the 40 minutes, and then when I went, okay, f*** it, and walked out, it immediately hunted and killed me. On the other hand, I've had shorts that were really funny do really bad because I didn't tell a story. It was just a moment. So how do you know if your YouTube short or TikTok performed well? With the changes to the YouTube Partner Program and the ability to now become monetized only based off of shorts, the value of shorts has also increased exponentially on that end. But this has also shown us the three most important statistics that they use to measure your success. Views, engagement, and retention rate. This should not come as a surprise to you. Every single video platform and every single social media platform wants to keep you on their platform as long as possible. And for YouTube, that means keeping viewers watching as long as possible. And the longer you can keep them watching your videos, the more interested YouTube will be in promoting your channel. That is why the bar you should aim for is a 100% retention rate, meaning your viewers watch the whole short. But we can do even better. If someone watches a short twice, then you have 200% retention rate. You want to make your video as short as it needs to be to tell the whole story and deliver on the promise that you've set out in the start without confusing your viewer or making it overly long. Aim for a video that gets straight to the point and is easy to understand. Keep it interesting by adding graphics, visuals, and sounds. 
Now, you're probably asking yourself, when is he going to tell me how to make a short for every day in less than an hour? Well, that is right now, actually. While your first short may take 10 to 15 minutes to make, it should after that not take more than a few minutes per short. All you need to do is go to joincombo.com and log in with your Twitch credentials. It will automatically grab all the clips from the last week but you can scroll down and choose any seven day period to grab all the clips from. Or you can even upload a video that you have for editing as long as it's no larger than 100 megabyte or 250 megabyte if you have Join Combo Pro. I don't, I don't see why I need it. So what you see here is completely free for you to do. Okay, let's choose a clip to edit. I will go with this one. Now you will probably want to go with either the split or the face cam preset but don't you worry we're going to use a little cheat later so we can change it if we want to i am going to start off with the face cam preset i quite like circle and let's just put it right over my face and click continue now you have to do this because it creates three different tracks the first one the top one that is your face cam then the second one is your actual game screen and the third one is the blurred background. However, if you don't get this right the first time or decide that you want to change the look later, you can do that. No problem. Just click the camera layer, go to crop video, and you can redo the crop. And then personally, I don't like the circle or the square. I quite like something with a bit of a rounded corner. Looks a little fancy. So that's what I'm going to do. You can also add a border, a background, or even a blur just by clicking a button. I'm going to offset myself a little from the background by adding a shadow. I like to set it to 15 and 15 offset. And then just to give it a little bit more depth, a spread of three pixels. And that's it. Your short is done. However, if you want to change the start and end point of your clip, you can do that as well. Just drag the playhead to where you want it to start and drag the start or end of each clip wherever you want it to be. Remember that you are working with three layers the camera, the foreground, and the blurred background. So if you wanted to shorten the whole video, you need to make sure that you drag all three layers to the right position. We can then move everything to the start by just dragging it, and there we go. That's it. That's all you need to do. But before we call this done, there's one last thing that is super important to add. You don't want your viewers to slide right past you, so to make sure that they stick around and understand what's going on in the video, we're gonna add subtitles. This sounds tedious and time consuming, but with Join Combo, it cannot be easier. All you need to do is click the auto subtitle button. Choose the language of the video and click continue. Choose your subtitle style. I will go with that one. And now it is already generating your subtitles. Make sure to check each of your subtitles so they come in and go out at the right time, are spelled correctly, the grammar is correct, and that they are visible for everybody that watches. Don't forget, most of your viewers will be on mobile devices, so make sure your text is as big as possible without interfering with the actual content. With that done and settled, it is time to export. Before you do anything, and here comes the magic, save this setup as a template and give it a recognizable name. This is the 1000 IQ move right here, because now every time you have a clip that is made in the same scene, you can just click this template and all the changes you have made are saved immediately. You can exit the studio and download your short to upload to you, or you can click the instant share buttons in the export screen to do exactly what the button says and upload them to your channel ready to publish right away. Seriously? There is no easier way to create shorts. More advanced and with more bells and whistles? Yeah, absolutely, but not easier. So now all you need to do is get some good Twitch clips and get to work. But getting good clips is all about setting yourself up to make the best content you can make, which can be very difficult and can go catastrophically wrong if you don't do it right. Don't make that mistake and check out this video right here to set yourself up for the best content you can make. And as always, stream better, stream smart.